Welcome back everyone. This is GTA Failure. In our last video, we completed triads and tribulations, which ended us here at the triad compound where we start this video. And now we're heading back to Tony's to do our final Tony mission of the game. It's called Blowfish. One technical note, there is going to be no sound in this video, no in-game sound in this video, except during the cutscene, which is uh, coming up when we start the mission, the first time anyway. Um, and it's because I just had uh, an issue with my computer and I didn't realize that there was no sound coming from my computer until after I had recorded like an hour's worth of footage for this video. And uh, same thing actually possibly for the next video. I don't know that I'm gonna re-record the footage for the next video, but it's just these two videos. And uh, the fact is my uh, in-game sound is super low when I make these videos. I set it to be really low. So hopefully it won't be uh, an issue, uh, but just wanted to explain why it's gonna be very quiet uh, behind the scenes here other than my voice. Um, Okay, so uh, this, like I said, is the mission Blowfish. Uh, oh, I'm uh, stocking up on health here. We, uh, we took some damage during the Triads and Tribulations mission. So uh, the uh, premise of the mission Blowfish is to uh, go pick up a Trash Master at 8Balls, which has been rigged with a bomb, and then deposit it in the Triads compound. Actually, the same compound we just left at the start of this video. And uh, blow their fish factory to smithereens. That's the plan anyway. And um, I uh, was tempted to like re-record the video just so I could get the in-game sound working, uh, but I didn't have the heart to do it. Most of this mission is a very long, very slow, very dull drive in the ridiculously slow and poor accelerating trash master from the far north of this island basically to the far south and i just like i did that 15 times as i was recording the footage and i just didn't have the heart to uh, to do it again uh to like re-record all the footage so anyway that's where we are uh okay so um we are going to uh tackle this mission and uh, as we do i'll uh, read a little bit from the wiki uh, so the reward here is thirty thousand bucks uh, this mission is uh, unlocked by doing the previous tony mission triads and tribulations and uh, technically this mission doesn't unlock any mission by itself but uh, the next video in this series is going to be the mission cutting the grass which is the which is a uh, salvatore leone mission and uh, once we've completed cutting the grass and this mission right here, then we can do the following Salvatore mission, uh, which is called Bomb to Base. And so this mission that we're doing here the, with the Trash Master, it doesn't unlock Bomb to Base by itself, but it is required. It's one of two missions required to unlock Bomb to Base. So that's the idea. Uh, and so you'll see here that uh, when we get into this uh, rigged uh, Trash Master, there's two... Uh, Two things we need to worry about. One of them is the damage meter, which is currently empty. That's the blue bar and will become a kind of filled in blue bar as I run into stuff on purpose here in a minute. And then the uh, countdown timer, which is uh, two and a half minutes to get from here all the way to the far south of the island to the place marked on the map. So there you go. We damaged, uh, looks like maybe about 40% of the damage meter there with that head on collision. Um, and uh, as expected, once we damage it completely, uh, the vehicle will blow up, which is not just mission fail, but, but, but wasted too. And so if you haven't saved, um, you know, uh, then you'll lose all your weapons and you got to go back. It's, it's pretty bad. Okay, so in this attempt, I tried to roll my uh, truck just to see what would happen. And it blew up right quick, uh, quicker than a normal rolled vehicle for sure. Uh, okay, uh, so what are we doing here? So now I wanted to see if I could uh, blow up my truck with bullets, and it turns out you cannot. This uh, vehicle, while it's uh, quite um, uh, 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 exposed to damage, uh, like from impacts, it is bulletproof, which I didn't realize. Uh, and so here I'm going to my favorite M16, like one second of this should blow up just about any vehicle. Uh, not explosion proof though. So the rocket launcher, that explosion will blow up the Trash Master. We'll show you a different explosion real soon that will blow up the Trash Master. Uh, so here I'm going to try to blow up my Karuma. Uh, and uh, yep, that explosion also fails the mission for blowing up the Trash Master. Next up, we're going to take that uh, uh, tra well, a trash master to the paint spray. You can see it's already damaged about 60% or so. And I've never taken this trash master on this mission to the paint spray. Uh, first of all, I didn't even know if it would fit. This thing is so big. And second, I didn't know if it would be accepted. And third, I didn't know if it would clear the damage we'd already sustained. And it does. Pretty cool. 
Um, so uh, obviously it's not the uh, speediest way to do this mission is to like damage it and then heal the damage at the pain spray, but it's an option. Um, and uh, there is enough time to, uh, you know, to stop at the pain spray and get down to the, uh, whatchamacallit, to the, um, the place marked on the map. Uh, so here uh, we do have to wait for the gate to open. Um, the gate will open because we're in a uh, trash master. It also opens if you're in one of the triad vans, these trucks that you see here with the fish on the side. So we're trying to get this uh, thing deposited into the space marked on the map. It's going to be a blue marker. And then arm the bomb, activate the bomb, which I did not do. And then get away, and a few seconds later, the bomb will explode. Well, it was uh, less time between uh, getting out and the bomb exploding because the bomb actually automatically explodes once you run out of time, which I didn't realize. So I didn't actually need to arm the bomb there to pass the mission. Here I'm just uh, testing to see if this fire is real, and indeed it is, and it is quite toasty. Get the marshmallows ready. All right, uh, so here, uh, more testing on this uh, Trash Master. It looks like it's uh, fireproof from the fi uh, flamethrower anyway. Let's see what about Molotovs. Yeah, it looks like it is not on fire. Uh, the uh, Like most vehicles would, uh, you know, they would stay lit up on fire. They'd have their own fire, uh, but here, this uh, Trash Master is immune to both, but not immune to explosions. Uh, we did the rocket launcher explosion before, and and now we did the uh, grenade explosion. Okay, so here I'm uh, gonna let time run out. I think I'm gonna put this in double speed or something. Uh, so you can see you don't instantly fail from getting out of the vehicle, uh, but uh, but we'll let uh, we'll let time run out here, and uh, and then we'll get a mission fail. Uh, there's actually no uh, message at the bottom of the screen that says, hey, you're out of time or whatever. It's just that this truck is going to blow up at uh, at zero. We saw that already. And the fact is, it's not in the correct spot way down in the south in that uh, triad compound. Uh, so it's um, so it's going to be a mission fail for us here as well. Um, in addition to this truck being bulletproof and fireproof, it's also the only trash master that can be armed with a bomb because uh, the trash master is too tall to fit in any of the three eight ball shops. Here I'm trying to see if I can damage the Trash Master by running into it with other vehicles. And you can see slowly but surely, uh, you can. The Trash Master is pretty robust. I mean, like it's a lot heavier than just about every vehicle in the game. Uh, but you can damage this thing by uh, smacking into it with other vehicles. And eventually you could explode the Trash Master and fail the mission by doing that. Okay, what happens if you push a Trash Master into the water? Well, unsurprisingly, they fail. So there you go, mission failed. And now I'm going to ditch the Trash Master in the water, like in our standard spot here on the beach. And you're gonna see that I have to go far deeper in the water here to get this Trash Master to be quote wrecked than I do, we did with any of the other vehicles that we ditched in the water here. Um, like this, this should be enough, um, but I guess the programmers were trying to make it realistic and say that the Trash Master's wheels are taller than most and so like it really like it's not going to be harmed by the water unless you get it like deeper than most vehicles like the, than the lower vehicles <clears throat> i started to wonder if maybe i couldn't ditch it at all um and so i decided i had to go further into the water i thought for sure this would fail the mission here but it did not let's go rolling in the deep as adele said we are way out there all right so you can see we lost a little bit of health from uh, being kind of drowning there, but uh, eventually we ditched it. So in theory now, I have this vehicle and I can store it, right? Uh, I'm gonna take it to the paint spray just to show you that nothing nothing happens here. But like, it's a cool vehicle because it uh, it is bulletproof and it's fireproof and I want all of those things. Uh, but it turns out, it, even though it's possible to get this vehicle, um, I'm not going to in this video series. It's not worth it to me to go through what I need to to get it. So here I'm gonna demonstrate it's still uh, bulletproof, there's the M16, and uh, I think we'll probably hit it with some flame as well. And it's still fireproof. So uh, how come we can't get it in uh, any of our traditional ways? All right, so you can't store it in the Portland garage. I'm going to demonstrate that right now because this vehicle is too tall. Um, you uh, can't, um, you, you can do the taxi driver glitch in this vehicle, and I'm going to in this video. Uh, but then we're going to find out that the, uh, the second part of that glitch, which makes a vehicle have no collision and would allow us to drive this trash master through the blue wall in that tunnel, uh, the second part of the glitch is not going to work for a reason which will become obvious once we get there. <clears throat> uh, 
Okay, and then uh, finally, the uh, magic tree is our third option for um, getting a vehicle from this island over to Shoreside. And I'll show you a couple of seconds of me trying to do that with the magic tree, but I got nowhere. I didn't, couldn't get this vehicle to even uh, do a, a little bit of sinking into the ground, which is uh, what has to happen for the magic tree drive on top of the tunnel thing to work. Okay, so uh, while I show you my failed attempts at doing our standard ways of um, stealing one of these vehicles and bringing it over to another island, uh, let me read the uh, actual way that you can uh, bring this vehicle over to... Why is my vehicle getting pushed? Officer, come on. Uh, let me read to you uh, how you can actually make this work. Okay, so I was just struggling to get taxi driver working there, but we'll get it here. All right, so uh, according to uh, a, a GTA forums topic, um, uh, uh, the, um, the way to get this trash master is to ditch it in the water after starting the mission, which we've done. And then you can uh, park it somewhere far away from any mission stuff and then start Blowfish again and complete it, but make sure you don't drop any other vehicles um, uh, other than the uh, required trash master that you use when you restart um, Blowfish. And then the next mission is going to be Bomb to Base Acts 1 and 2, which I guess means you probably have to have already completed Cutting the Grass, and then Bomb the Base would be unlocked at the conclusion of Blowfish. And it says uh, part one of Bomb to Base is just a cutscene that's easy, but part two is harder. You have to use the trash master in Bomb to Base part two to arrive at the docks, and after killing all the Colombians, you have to enter that trash master before the fade, or else it will disappear. Uh, Colombians is uh, misspelled here. It's C O L U. Uh, maybe maybe those particular guys in that mission are are, uh, are from they go to Columbia uh, University in uh, in New York. I don't know. Uh, okay, and then finally, you have to do the mission last request using the Trash Master to get to the boat, and then you leave it at the dock and you take the boat over to the second island according to the way you do the mission, and, um, and then finally uh, get back to the Trash Master and then you can drive it through the tunnel, which would no longer have the blue wall. So anyway, I didn't feel like uh, letting this Trash Master uh, dictate my life for these next few missions. So uh, you can see there uh, that the uh, trash master is too heavy for the crane. I didn't know that any vehicles were not like craneable, um, uh, and uh, and so I cannot make this uh, trash master uh, collision proof. So sad. Okay, uh, so a little bit more from the wiki here about this mission. Um, after this mission, uh, the factory will no longer spawn triad guards and their fish vans, but it's still accessible. The factory is still accessible. At least that, that compound is still accessible. The gates will still open to the same vehicles that it opens to now, uh, specifically the garbage truck and the uh, triad fish vans. Uh, here, I think I'm just making my way over to the uh, magic tree just to show you a couple of seconds of my failed attempts at... Um, at getting the magic tree working. Okay, uh, but pretty soon in this video, we're going to move on to our next attempts at this mission, and uh, and I'll just say that uh, that uh, like I said, I've given up on on getting one of these uh, pretty cool, pretty unique, not pretty unique, but unique uh, trash masters. All right, uh, so what next? Okay, so this is our uh, final Tony mission, and uh, therefore it's a good time for us to. Um, something uh, to uh, rate each of the Tony missions. Okay, so um, let's uh, let's go. Uh, the first Tony mission was taking out the laundry. Uh, recall we had to uh, destroy three specific uh, triad vans that were driving laundry around. Um, that, that mission's pretty cool. Uh, it can be kind of annoying if the vans are, are far away. Uh, so here, what am I doing? Yeah, you can see I'm crashing into stuff and the damage meter is not uh, increasing and that's because this is not the official Trash Master from this mission. Uh, you can see that there's a, a blip on the uh, little mini-map here. Um, it looks, it's uh, close to the end uh, on the uh, mini-map. Um, just uh, clockwise of the end on the mini-map. Uh, because this is actually the same trash master that I took uh, from uh, the when I ditched this one in the water, uh, and so it says the bomb is armed. Yeah, I know it is. Like I, 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 like this trash master had a bomb put into it because it was used to start a different mission, uh, and then it blew up after a few seconds of me getting out of the vehicle, and then nothing. I wasn't expecting anything because the blue marker is not here. 
Uh, but anyway, it was interesting to me that um, that I could uh, I could still arm and use that bomb, but it it wasn't going to pass the mission. It had to be the uh, official trash master uh, that was given to you in that specific mission, not in a different instance of that mission. Okay, so here I didn't activate the bomb, um, but uh, but the vehicle there blew up. I don't actually know what just happened there. I thought I was going to shoot the vehicle to blow it up. Maybe I did. Uh, so as long as the vehicle's in place, uh, I guess it doesn't much matter how it uh, how it blows up. You can pass the mission anyway. Here I'm demonstrating that the taxi will not uh, allow me in. The gates don't open unless you're in a trash master or a fish van. Okay, uh, and then um, let's see here. Right. Uh, oh, I guess I also should point out that. Um, Oh, this is the one where I'm going to blow up my, my uh, van with a rocket launcher. Uh, also, look for raining fish in the uh, cutscene after the final explosion. It's hard to see. But look for dark, dark things falling to the ground. It's quite fast. But anyway, Tony uh, talked about how he wanted uh, mackerel raining from the sky uh, when we blew up this, uh, this uh, factory. And so those fish are there, and uh, in fact, that's what the title of the mission is, Blow Fish. You are uh, blowing up a factory and fish are raining down. Uh, but also, it's a play on words, right? A blow fish is a kind of fish, and also a uh, pretty darn cool uh, rock band. I think they're from North Carolina. Darius Rucker and friends. Uh, okay, so uh, here is my final attempt at this mission in this video, um, and I'll save uh, after completing the mission here. Okay, so I mentioned uh, the first uh, Tony mission, taking out the laundry, I'll give that a 7 out of 10. Uh, the pickup, that's where you go to uh, pick up a, a suitcase in the middle of Chinatown, and then it turns out it's an ambush, and you're attacked by triads from three different alleys, and also a triad who's sitting in a truck. That one's pretty cool. Uh, I'll give that one an 8 out of 10. Uh, Salvatore's called a meeting, that's where you have to go pick up... Uh, uh, Joey, and then you get a limousine, and you gotta use that limo to pick up Luigi and also Tony, but that's also an ambush, and triad trucks come after you and are blocking the entrance to Salvatore's mansion. Uh, I'm not such a fan of that one. The limo isn't so much fun to drive, and it's a lot of long, slow driving around the map, uh, and also the uh, it's it's a tough mission. Uh, you can fail that thing uh, casually or, or even when you're doing a speed run just because the limo can blow up from all the damage it takes. So 4 out of 10 for Salvatore's Call the Meeting. Uh, triads and Tribulations, uh, that was the one where there was a gang war between the Triads and the Mafia, and uh, we had to go and kill three specific um, Triad warlords. That was a pretty fun one, 7 out of 10 there. Uh, and then finally, Blowfish is my least favorite Tony mission. I'm giving this one a 3 out of 10. Again, a very slow, long, boring drive. Uh, I mean, it, like the cutscene with the explosion at the end is cool. It's a, it's a nice payoff, but... Um, but it's not, not a lot of fun doing this drive, and uh, you really can't take chances because if you run into too many things, you blow up. Uh, so 3 out of 10 for this one. Uh, we'll give Tony a 7 out of 10 overall. Um, like when I grade the mission givers, I'm not uh, averaging. Like I'm not doing like a mean of all of the individual mission uh, scores that I give. Uh, just kind of a uh, overall impression that I have of the mission giver. You can see here in my official attempt, I did not set the car bomb, so my intention is to let the bomb explode uh, when we get down to zero, and uh, just uh, I'm just heading back to Tony's, uh, ready for the next mission. Although I realized uh, after I recorded this footage that uh, the, we have no more Tony missions, the next mission is at Salvatore's, so I should have driven over to Salvatore's to really be ready for the next video and the next mission. Whatever. It's done. Uh, okay, so uh, given Tony a 7 out of 10, uh, which actually makes him the uh, highest uh, scoring boss so far. We'll give you the uh, the summary of all the scores. Uh, Luigi got 5 out of 10, Marty Chonks 3 out of 10, Joey was a 6 out of 10, El Burro was a 5 out of 10, and then Tony here, 7 out of 10. The car bomb's not set. Yeah, I know. It doesn't matter, Rockstar. Just relax. Okay, so um, the, uh, this will be mission passed here, and again, you can look for the fish after the final big explosion. There they go. I think the fish should have been, like, bigger, and maybe fall. they should fall slower. Like, I, I had no idea that was even a thing. Like, I've passed that mission probably 40 different times, um, and until I read about the fish in the wiki, I had no idea that the fish falling was a thing in that mission. Okay, Tony is done. Moving on to Salvatore next. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you real soon.